And deal too. This is the way it's done. We look forward to seeing you next time. Good stuff, sir. Happy night. Tonight, the start of the school year brings tears from parents and cheers from students. A police blitz catches 30 motorists speeding in school zones, including a bus driver. The former Premier tells a Brisbane magistrate, Gordon Nuttall didn't influence the Copperbella mine decision. And a new study reveals just how many people now call the Bowen Basin home. Across Mackay, the Whit Sundays and the Coalfields with Rob Bruff. This is 7 Local News. Good evening, folks. Thanks for joining us. School was in today as thousands of students marked the start of the new educational year. And for many, the beginning of a 13-year journey. Tears mingled with excitement as many parents saw their children off to prep for the first time. Classrooms were abuzz with back-to-school excitement. Parents outnumbered students at St Francis Xavier Primary School as they lingered for one last hug goodbye. It's always exciting when the kids come back. It just brings the school to life. 24 five-year-olds entered the Prep M classroom for the first time, among them two sets of twins, and they weren't phased at all by their first day at big school. I think my kids wanted me to leave, so they were pretty happy. And a lot of kids would go to daycare centres and that sort of thing regularly now, so the separation's not what it used to be. Many parents felt a sense of relief. Fantastic. <laughs> There were similar scenes in classrooms right across the region. At Mackay West State School, the first lesson of the day was where to put bags and hats in the start of a whole new daily routine. Photographs were taken to mark the momentous occasion and remember it in years to come. Ready, smile. Cheese. Some grandparents found the morning more daunting than the children. Grandma's a bit teary, but he'll be right. But parents were a distant memory by the time class formally started. Teachers spent the morning familiarising students with the classroom. You guys are really big people, so we're going to try to not have any accidents. It's the second year that the prep year has been compulsory for primary students, and teachers say they're seeing the benefit of the extra year. We think the children going from prep to year one are much more literate and much more ready for school, so we would think full-time prep's been a good thing so far. Ebony Cavallaro, 7 News. Police route in force today to remind motorists to take care when driving in school zones. The back-to-school operation saw 30 people caught...